Hello friends! Today I'll tell you about the most famous, the cheapest and the most useful knife. The machete. Well, it's hard to call machete a knife. A tool? Yes. A sword? Maybe. But a knife? I doubt it. When did this dingus appear? No one knows. This knife has been in use for several centuries. The history of its appearance is unknown because machete has always been the tool for the simple folk. Just like the axe doesn't have a history or the shovel doesn't have a history, there's no history for machete. Only a few facts are known, but still, the lack of information didn't prevent this knife from becoming one of the most famous in the world. There's an opinion that machete came from the Greek sword kopis. Yes, the very same kopis that gave birth to the famous cold steel knife Spartan. The proof of ancestry is the convex machete parang from Java. It's practically a copy of this sword and it's very similar to the classical war blade of Gokas, the Nepalese Kukri. We'll have a special video about Kukri soon. So all these three weapons have a shape similar to boomerang. It's just that the parang is sharpened at the convex side of the blade and the Kukri on the concave one. In the middle of the 20th century, professional soldiers took machete from the peasants. American fighters appreciated the heavy blade where the center of gravity shifted to the front. The construction of the blade allows for shattering strikes and the ease of make makes it available even for guerrilla warfare. It's been time tested during the war in Vietnam. Machete became employed by the armies of many countries as a universal tool for solving day-to-day -day problems and also as a cheap and reliable bladed weapon. Machete has been frequently used as a mass murder weapon and it was a horrible weapon of war and torture used by plant owners in Latin America fighting escaped slaves. The black guys retaliated with the same weapon, slaughtering the ex-masters. Nowadays, this practice is almost forgotten from human memory. But still, in the slums of Rio de Janeiro and Montevideo, the local gangs are frequently and actively using this sugarcane cutter to prove their right. And in many African countries, you can buy machete for a couple of dollars, right in the airport. And of course, it's a day-to-day -day accessory and tool of local dwellers. Of course, our favorite Hollywood couldn't pass this one by. Huge number of movies have been filmed picturing this famous knife. And the pinnacle of American filmmaking is the movie starring legendary Danny Trejo called I want to separately emphasize that Machete, with all its virtues and impressive exteriors, is not legally considered a melee weapon. A lot of parameters preclude that. It doesn't have the required hand support, no pronounced tip, and the blade is not meant for stabbing strikes at all, as any melee weapon should. And in general, anybody can freely carry it downtown. But I hope you're not gonna do it, or will you? Traditionally, machete has 40 to 60 centimeters long, 15 to 23 inches, and the shape can be very different depending on the place of make. Actually, every master makes their own machetes. The blade is wide, usually a little raised in the front, but not very thick, only 3 to 4 millimeters. It can be double-edged, but most usually it's single-edged. I should also note that the quality of the cut doesn't usually depend much on the sharpness of the blade, more on the strength and the speed of the strike. The handle can be made of wood, metal, or if the machete has been made recently on a factory, can be made of plastic or of some other composite material. Unlike the medieval swords or some other traditional weapons, Machetes are not decorated with carvings or engravings. That probably has to do with uh, the aim of the machete, knife for cutting grass. Few people would decorate their sickle or scythe. Times are changing, generations are changing, but machete was and is one of the most widely used knives in the world. It's simple, cheap, usually made not very accurately, but still, it's a perfect tool for a job. Nowadays, it's used not just by the South American peasants, but by tourists, travelers, and even military people all around the world. It is a legendary knife that has been perpetuated on the flag and the coat of arms of Angola. Now let's make 150 likes under this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll prepare a great video for you about the Nepalese machete Kukri. That's it. Have a good one. See you online.